Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'm going to show you how to share folders between your Mac and your Windows while using Parallels Desktop. If you do not know what Parallels Desktop is, it's an application you can get for your Mac that allows you to run Windows and Mac simultaneously. So it kind of emulates Windows in a window, as you can see, and you'll still be able to run your Mac in the background, which is uh, pretty, pretty handy dandy. Um, so. You might have noticed that on the website they tell you you got tons of cool features like being able to drag and drop folders from your Mac desktop to your Windows and you might see that when I try it, it doesn't work. Um, and also when I go into the settings of my virtual machine and I go into sharing, try to set up a custom folder to share with my Windows 7 machine, it doesn't work either. So that's because by default you do not have the Parallels tools installed. And I know it's a very, very simple thing to do, but a lot of people miss out on this. So I just want to make a really quick tutorial on how to do this, but it's super simple. Simply go on your Parallels desktop, go on your menu bar of your Mac, go under Virtual Machine, and go ahead and install Parallels Tools. Parallels Tools. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but go ahead and click on that. And it's going to give you a little pop-up here. Go ahead and continue the installation. And install Parallels Tools here will pop up on your Windows machine this is. Go ahead and click on yes, allow, whatever it asks you. Go ahead and uh, proceed. And it's gonna start, insta start installing Parallels tools, which is gonna enable quite a few features for uh, both your integration of both your Mac and your Windows kind of together. It will not only allow you to drag stuff from your Mac to your Windows, but also stuff from your Windows to your Mac, which is pretty cool. And adds a few cool shortcuts as well. You'll be able to launch applications, Mac applications from your Windows machine and Windows applications from your Mac uh, machine. It might sound a little confusing, but it's really handy because you can just one click on the program uh, in your dock and will automatically pop that up on um, your Windows machine, so which is pretty cool. So as you can see, it's still installing right now Parallels Tools and uh, it's about 76% done. Now you might see your screen flickering from time to time just on your uh, virtual machine here and uh, eventually it will get done. So as you can see, it's done. And after two minutes, it will automatically restart Windows 7 for you or you can just click, go ahead and click on the button and it's gonna restart your Windows 7 virtual machine. So do not worry, it's not gonna restart your Mac, just your Windows machine. And it's only gonna take a few seconds here and as you can see, you're going to have a little dialogue saying the Windows application folder will be added to your dock while it just disappeared. But uh, what this means, once I go to my dock on my Mac, you'll notice at the right side, you'll have a little Windows 7 applications. And this is what I was talking to you guys about with the shortcuts. Uh, in just one click, I'll be able to access all that Windows stuff, all that documents, applications, programs that I have installed on my Windows. I'll be able to... Um, access them straight from my Mac dock, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and log in to my Windows virtual machine here on Parallels desktop again. And you'll notice now that we've installed Parallels tools, we'll be able to drag and drop stuff as well uh, from Mac to your Windows or from Windows to your Mac. It doesn't really matter, it works both ways. So uh, Parallels has done a really, really good job in integrating both of those. Um, so that's really, really cool. So now that you have logged in your Windows virtual machine, you'll be able to drag and drop from your Mac here, the same exact folder, I'll just drag it to the desktop, and you'll notice right away it starts popping up uh, almost instantly on your uh, Windows machine, which is really cool, you can just drag and drop stuff. It also works the other way around, so if I want to drag this folder back in here, uh, of course it already exists, so it's going to ask me do you want to replace it, uh, which is not the case. But uh, it works very, very uh, nicely, and you'll also be able to share folders uh, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, uh, that will also uh, work again, so that's pretty cool. And another thing that adds, if you go into your uh, start menu on Windows, you'll see it will add tons of new Mac applications. So if you go under parallel shared applications, you'll see that all your Mac applications will get there. Now, don't worry, that doesn't, this doesn't mean that your Mac applications have reinstalled themselves on the Windows uh, virtual machine. It's just shortcuts, so they don't take any space or barely any space. And from here, you can just go ahead and launch any applications on your Windows uh, you can just launch any Mac application. So let's launch up Google Chrome here. And you'll notice just by a click, it's gonna launch up my Google Chrome on my Mac, which is pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. So you get these cool little shortcuts and the other way around here as well. If I go Internet Explorer, it will launch up Internet Explorer and I'll be able to um, go on Internet Explorer on my virtual machine, of course. So that's all really, really nice stuff. Uh, that's pretty much how you enable sharing between Parallels and your Mac. 
Uh, of course, this is for Parallels Desktop 7. Now, it also works for previous versions. It works up to Parallels Desktop 5. I already had, had this, I think. Um, so, it works with tons of versions and probably also with future versions. Versions, it will probably be very, very similar to install. So, I thank you a lot for watching. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and comment down below. And uh, I'll try to leave my uh, wallpaper right here that I have in the description as well if you want to download that. And last but not least, this is totally separate from the tutorial. I've got two beta codes for Blacklight Retribution, which is a Windows game. And if you have a Windows and you like that game, go ahead and message me. If you subscribe to me, just go ahead and drop me a message and I'll give you one of the two beta codes I have. If you're going to use them and you're sure you're going to use them, go ahead and just drop me a personal message and I'll be sure to give you uh, if I still have uh, them. So I thank you a lot for watching. And once again, you can check out my um, social stuff and my two latest videos, stuff like that. Peace.